Hi everyone, and welcome back to my Electronics Vlog. Uh, as you know, I'm still like, playing around with uh, HTC Vive, the 3D virtual reality kit from uh, HTC and uh, Valve. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this stuff. I mean, this is unbelievably cool. Everything that's cool you heard about the Vive is completely true. And I wanted to go a little bit further because, you know, you know I'm very technical. I have lots of technical stuff. And you knew when I bought this stuff, I was not going to just use it for entertainment purposes. I was going to use it for development purposes as well. So I have. I've already played around with Blender. I have gotten around with, to a special Blender edition that is supporting um, the HTC Vive because of some developer out there uh, that wrote a simple script or something because of the open VR stuff. So it's now actually possible to create stuff and walk around in your own creation in Blender. It's not readily available. You can find a script on the net. If you go to YouTube, you'll be able to find it somewhere. But it's not that easy to set up because the co coordinates and stuff like that is a little bit off. So I'm going to experiment more with that. But I'm going to show you something. I made a simple setup here um, just to test, test um, with a landscape. This is from The Burbs, by the way. There's a movie called The Burbs. Uh, it's pretty well known from 1989 or 1985. I'm not really sure. But it stars, stars Tom Hanks in it. And it's about this neighborhood of, where people like, like to spy on each other, etc. Et and I sort of recreated Ray's, uh, Ray Peterson's home here in the 3D because I'm a big fan of the movie. Uh, so in order to walk around in this landscape, this is the cool part. Imagine using your own virtual reality helmet to walk around in the stuff that you made on the screen. It, n it will no longer be 2D. You can actually take a look at how it looks in real life, and that's pretty cool. But enough about that, I'm going to show you this. This is really freaking awesome. I hope you get a catch a glimpse of this. I have a small virtual reality button here that starts the virtual reality. There is a VR connection with the, with the Vive that has just been activated. And that means I now have contact between the scene here and the goggles. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite show exactly how it looks. Um, so I had to cheat a little bit in order to make you see this. There's a small preview here I can show you. I can zoom it up a little bit so you get a chance to, um, to see what I'm doing. See if I can zoom it up even more without crashing, hopefully. Okay, that's good. Uh, as you can see now, it's moving around in there as I'm moving around the headset here. You can see the landscape is moving around on the screen like that. Um, I can't navigate with the mouse or these controllers because it's not compatible yet, but uh, I think I'm going to work on that myself to see if I can learn OpenVR and get the controllers to work as well. This is very, but until then, I find my old 10-year-old space mouse that can actually navigate around in 3D with the help of, just like the controllers can. I'm going to use that navigation unit for now, and you'll see what I do here. I have to adjust it with the space mouse. Um, now I'm using the space mouse. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm using the space mouse. And I'm taking a walk... Um, not really used to using that thing. I just bought that thing as a sort of a novelty back in the days. Let's take a walk over there. To raise porch right there. There you go. And yeah. Oops. I, <laughs> I went under the scenery here. Let's see if I can get up again. There you go. I'm not entirely used to that controller yet. Dang, come on. I mean, inside his garage or something, I think. Uh, everything is tilted upside down. Well, I got to work a little bit more on that. But how cool is that? Uh, we are now able to walk inside our own scenes that we create in Blender. And I've been messing around with this. This is why I haven't been posting anything for two days, because I've been having way too much fun doing this. I played around with my own 3D characters and you know I could raise up and go around look around them and stuff like that it was really weird it was like actually my characters were actually standing inside of my own room here and it's 
totally mind-blowing how good it is, how well it really works. And there's another game uh, as well that I play a lot. It's found inside the, the lab, the, the lab that you could get with the HSC Vive inside of Valve, the Steam. And it's called Sortex or something like that, I think. And I'm playing it all the time. It's this crazy shoot 'em up game that is absolutely wild. It's totally addictive because you can play, you can use the controller with a small hover and you can like shoot all kinds of space aliens that goes around you and everywhere. It's like an arcade hole from the 80s, but still modernized with 3D and virtual reality. And that is completely mind blowing. I am so addicted to that game. I could, I'm playing it like three hours every day just to get a better high score. I think I'm in, in the third 3,000 or second th uh, 2,000 plays or something like that. Uh, which is not so bad considering there's hundreds of thousands that actually plays it, so that's actually pretty cool. But it's real, it's really addictive. I'm probably gonna play so much. Um, I'm probably gonna need to go to do some kind of rehab for this or something like that because it's so addictive. It is so real time and so crazy to look at. You know, when the smoke in a little spaceship and all the smoke is going around you and you're looking down on them and up at them and stuff like that, and you're shooting them everywhere. It's completely addictive. Alright, I'm going to play a little bit more with this stuff, so I'll see you another day.